Hello and welcome to the EasyMind tutorial video. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at how to set up a new EasyMind account and also how to create a bootable flash drive with the EasyMind operating system. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to have to do is create a new EasyMind account. So open your web browser and go to my.easymind.io. Now once the page loads, click the register button on the right side of the screen and then fill out the registration form and click the create account button below. Okay, the next step is to verify the email address. So we're going to have to go into our email account and see if the message with the verification link is waiting for us. Now it may take up to five minutes for that message to be sent out. So if you go into your email account and you don't immediately see it, don't worry, just give it a moment. It will arrive shortly. And there's the message. All you need to do is click the activation link and it will take you back to MyEasyMind.io. And you can see that the account has already been created. So now we can sign in with the email address and the password that we've created in the previous step. And here's the EasyMind dashboard. There's all kinds of interesting things here, but what we want to do first is download the EasyMind OS disk image file. So click download in the sidebar menu, then select disk image, and this will start the download process. The image file is about 1.7 gigabytes, so it will take a moment to download, in the meantime, we can get and install Etcher. Etcher is the application that we're going to be using to transform that image file into a bootable flash drive that we can use in our mining rig. Alright, now that Etcher is all set up and ready to go, we just need to wait for our download to complete and then unzip the file. Now the file unzips to 8 gigabytes, so make sure you have enough space available on your drive. And now we're ready to create our EasyMind OS bootable flash drive. So plug in the flash drive that you want to use for this. Uh, it needs to be at least 8 gigabytes. And then switch to Etcher. Etcher is really simple to use. There are just three steps here. First click select image and point to the image file that we've just downloaded. Then click select drive and point to the flash drive that we've just plugged in. And finally click flash and this is all there is to it. Now we just wait. Depending on your system and the flash drive that you're using, the process will take anywhere between 10 and 20 minutes. Once the flashing process has been completed, you can close Etcher. We are not going to be using it again. And then remove your flash drive from your computer and plug it back in. There's one more thing that we need to do, and that is to copy the configuration file from your account onto that newly created flash drive. So switch back to your web browser and sign into your EasyMind account. Then select Download and Config File. And what this does is downloads the configuration file that will bind this particular EasyMind installation to your account. So we need to copy this over to the flash drive. And you will see that there already is a con configuration file there. It's a dummy file. It's empty. Uh, we're now replacing it with the actual configuration file associated with your account. So once that's been copied, you can eject the flash drive and it's now ready to be used in your mining rig. And the final step, obviously, is to plug your flash drive into your mining rig. 
and then power the mining rig up. It will take a few minutes for it to boot, but once it does, it will appear in your EasyMine Online dashboard right here on the GPU rig list.